Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. In today's video, I am going to show you how to install OpenWRT on VMware Workstation. And I believe this application should be familiar with most of you, right? So for this tutorial, we will be using a virtual Linux machine, for example, CentOS or uh, Ubuntu or Phoenix to boot up our VM the virtual machine and after that we are going to download the firmware inside the VM and then yep install it right so first of all we need to have uh, Phoenix and if you want to look at my other tutorial on OpenWRT installation on x86 computer or install to hard drive then you can check out this playlist on the Vantage Corner channel and now let's go to google.com and get our phoenix right phoenix phoenix is a self-contained bootable linux cd distribution let's navigate to download phoenix and here we are there are different version and i will go with this uh, version 12 or version 11 according to whatever you need um, but I already have the file with me, so I will not download it again. And secondly, we will need the image, the OpenWRT image. So download.openwrt.org and then stable release and then x86 and then 64. We are going to use this combine-ext.img.gz but we are not going to download it right away. We need to use this image tie in order to expand our disk partition later, okay? So that's it. Now let's proceed with VMware. So here we are, VMware Workstation 15 or any of the version that you want. So still, first of all, let's go to find and then new virtual machine, then custom, Workstation 15 or any of the version will be fine. So I will install the operating system later. All right, so the get operating system, we need to select Linux or Windows. Of course, it's Linux. And for the version, um, we can select a version or as you can see right here, we have the kernel version 64 bit, right? So how do we identify the kernel version? Well, you can go to Google and then open the BRT. So we're using um, 19.7.5. So open the BRT 19.7 kernel version. All right, so 2020, 4.14. Right, so here we are confident to select version 4.14. Point X, right? Next, here we will give it a name, maybe OpenWRT, and then the location, the default location will be on the documents, right? Next, and then number processor one and number of calls per processor, I can give it two. And then for the uh, virtual memory, you can give it one, two, uh, one, zero, two, four. At network ties, we have some of the options. We have uh, bridge networking, we have uh, network address translation, we have host only, and do not use a network connection. For bridge networking, which is this one, the VM, the virtual machine, will be connected to the router directly, virtually. All right. And for the network address translation, And for host only networking, connect the guest operating system to a private virtual network on the host computer. And um, this is just like an internal connection. So we will use bridge networking. All right. Click next. LSI logics. All right. Whatever. And for the virtual disk type, I will go with SATA. Create a new virtual disk, of course. And the size, we can put it something like. Maybe for gig enough, store a virtual disk at a single file. Right next, 
and now we need to custom the hardware and we want to add a second interface for our LAN all right so right here click the add button and then network adapter finish for the second network adapter we are going to use a custom specific virtual network and we are going to select the vm19 of private network share with the host all right and then look right so 19 host only and the first network adapter will be bridge so we will have a network internet connection from here for the cd or dvd we will select the iso of phoenix or the linux uh, distribution that you have so here we are phoenix 11 everything look right so we have one gigs of ram two processors and we have the first adapter on bridge mode which will be our one interface and this network adapter 2 on vmnet 19 on host only uh, for our lan connection and right the rest is fine and hit close and finish right so here we are uh, the virtual machine but we haven't powered it on because we need to have a look at the network configuration so now let's go to edit and then virtual network editor and it is opening just right here sorry let me just bring it over so we have vmnet 1 a and 19 so we're going to modify the vmnet 19 just right here and we need to click on change settings get it back and for vmnet 19 uh, by default by default right the dscp service is enabled and we want to turn it off because we are going to use OpenWRT, so this one should be off. And then for the sub IP, for the subnet IP address, you can use your own IP address. So here I'm using 192.168.168.1, I'm sorry, dot zero. And the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0, which is slash 24. So you are going to have 255 addresses in this subnet right so everything like this click ok and now it is good to go let's powering on this virtual machine and yep let's see phoenix 64 bit hit enter Seem like something is not right. Yeah, we have a blank space after boot up. So let me try. Maybe restart the virtual machine. still a blank space so i believe there's something wrong with uh, phoenix 11 and i think we need to use a new version of phoenix maybe the kernel is not compatible so let's power it off the virtual machine and then put the cd and dvd and then change it to phoenix 12.1 hit open and hit ok right now let's powering on Right, light system, and let's see. All right, so Phoenix Trials on TTY1, and let's try something. Let's try ping google.com and see if we have a working internet connection look right and let list the this partition ls blk right so we have um, uh, llb0 and sr0 but we don't care about this we just need to pay attention to this sda0 
which is our disk and we are going to install an OpenRT on this one all right so now we are going to start the added hash service to establish the connection to this uh, virtual machine in order to manage it so still if config to get the IP address so 192.168.a.226 is this IP address and service and then hash start look right and let's open putties so 192.168.8.226 hit open and there's some message hit yes right so log in root and the password is blank well I said deny maybe we need to set a password so go back to our VM password right so let's try it again yes give a try with putties and then dot a dot two two six point twenty two root and the passwords all right so we're inside phoenix 12 and now we are going to work with this one this interface all right so now we need to download the firmware combine-ext.img copy the link location and let go hit wget space enter What is the size of the firmware? Why it takes so long to download? Right, the file is ready. Let's check it. Look right. Now we are going to extract the file. So gzip dash d then open wrt hit tab and enter and now we should have another file which is the img all right so now we are going to list the block as we had discussed previously we are going to install openly on this disk right so dd if equal to open wrt something like that and you just need to press o p e n and then tap and then the system will automatically fill in the name for you. All right. So of equal to slash d e v slash s d a, which is this name. All right. And hit enter. Give it some time to perform the action. And now we are good to go. So we have OpenWRT installed to the SDA. And we can check by LSBLK one more time. So as you can see right here, we have two new partition created. One is the SDA1, which is the boot partition, which is the FAT32. Uh, and SDA2 is the file system partition. All right. So now we can leave it like that and go back to the vmware and yep we can turn it off right here or you can run the sudo and then shut down so now we don't need the phoenix anymore so we can turn it off connect a power on untick it hit ok and now we should be good to go let powering on our openwrt and look great so yep we are inside open the reality and let's see all right so something great is happening hit enter 
and we are having OpenWRT 19.7.5 running on VMware Workstation. And first of all, let's set a password. Right, so let's see if we have an internet connection, pinggoogle.com. And let's see what do we have? Bad addresses. All right, so we have IF config. So right here we have Ethernet 0 and Ethernet 1. Ethernet 0 right here ending with DF, A4, DF, Y, Ethernet 1 and with A4, E9. All right, so let's go back to our computers and see if we can identify which one is Ethernet 0 and Ethernet 1. So 19 and the MAC address, then no information at all. So there is no way to check the MAC address to know which one is which one. So we need to do a blink test, all right? So UCI show network. And right now, the one interface is Ethernet 1 and the LAN interface is Ethernet 0, all right? So I think we are going to swap it. And now let's run v slash etc slash config slash network hit enter and press the i key to switch to the insert mode. So let's go to our LAN interface uh, right here and then change this one from eth0 to 1 and then go to one interface and change eth1 to 0 right do the same for one six right everything looks right so let's hit the exc or the escape key to go back to the command mode or the viewing mode and press this one right q to write the changes and now we can reboot the router or oh, actually, we can just serve it network restart. So let's see. ET at zero, link become ready. Pink google.com. Right, so we have a good ping and we have an internet connection right now. And let's check if we are able to accept to the Lucy page. So I have config ETS1 and ETS0. So 192.168.168.1 and it did not work in. Mm -hmm. Something is wrong. Never mind, so let's try to change this IP address to a static IP address. 192.168.168.3 and then 192.168.168.1 and hit OK and OK. So let's try if we're able to ping the router. There no respond and something should be wrong. Let's check the VMware. Alright, so UCI show network. Alright. So as you can see, we have the IP address right here for the LAN interface is 192.168.1.1 Why our VMware address is 192.168.168.1 
All right, so now we need to change either OpenWRT default IP address or our VMware address. All right, and I think the fastest way will be changing the LAN address for OpenWRT. So UCI set network dot LAN dot IP ADDR equal to 192.168.168.1 and then hit enter and then UCI commit and then serve it network restart right link become ready so let's go back to our network interfaces and go to properties and yep let's go back to the DSCP mode let's try to ping Let's see if we have any response. I have config. All right, and as you can see, we have the response from the router actually. So now we should be able to accept Lucy page. And if they know password, click login. This is OpenWRT running on VMware, VMware virtual platform. Right, so this is it. We have one gig of RAM and let's see the space. So let's go to network, shopware, and we have only 251 megabyte of storage free. However, our HDD is 4 gigabyte. So we need to expand the this partition to use the whole space, right? So now let's shut down the routers. Oh, I'm sorry. We cannot do. We cannot do like this. Power down. All right. So now we need to boot up the routers again. I'm sorry. We need to boot up the VMware again with Phoenix. All right. It enters and power on the virtual machine one more time with Phoenix. Well, sorry. Something not right. Pause it. Go back to this one and then uh, everything looks ready, something is wrong. Hmm. Oh, let's go to our CD room, right? And Phoenix and go to line system again. Right, so just now, as you can see, I have to very fast and press the exe key to get into the BIOS and then select the CD room. All right. So actually, we have a very detailed guide on how to install OpenWRT on x86 and also a very detailed guide to expand the disk partition just right here. Wow. So as you can see, this is the video and we have a very detailed documentation right here. So yeah, there are some technical information. We have the partition layout and resizing the partitions. So let's back to OpenWRTs. And now as we have discussed before, I have config. I have config. All right. I have config. Um we can now establish the attached connection to um, this VM again to configure everything but now we don't need to do any uh, download we don't need to paste any long sentence so we can just use Phoenix for now so lsblk to list the disk partition and we have SDA1 and SDA2 all right so now we are going to use um, fdisk to create the new disk partition as per our documentation right here right so install app this and recite to ms and i think all of them already installed with phoenix so app this f all right so app this then sd dev sda hit enter and first of all we are going to print 
to this information all right so we have sda1 and sda2 so we need to copy down the star and the end sectors of our this partition and now we're going to delete the this partition number two so hit d and then select two enter and now we need to create a new this partition so we need to hit n hit enter and p for primary and Partition number two or four in the default two, the first sectors. We are going to use the first sectors right here, so it will be three three seven nine five. I'm sorry, nine two. Right, you can see just right here. All right, so that's it. Hit enter. And the last sectors, we are going to use the last one, which is um, this predefined number and hit enter. So, partition 2 contains a ext4 signature. Do you want to remove the signature? No. Enter. And now, let's print the, this uh, partition one more time. Finally, after review, press W to write the changes. And that's it now we need to run this command to expand the file system to the whole space of the new created partition so resize to fs like dev sdp2 well no such file or directory while opening as um hmm all right i'm sorry so resize to fs dev sd a2 i'm sorry please run e2 fcsk first all right never mind i will do it e2 fsck slash app dev sca2 and and um, all right fix this yes fix it please and then let's run our previous command which is resize to fs dev s d a2 enter and rate so let's shut down all right so now we can go ahead and disable this uh, cd room hit ok and open and powering on our vm one more time and let's see if there any magical thing happen one nine two dot one six a dot one six a dot one hit enters and go in so in system shopware we should have 4.2 gigabyte of free storage so guys we have successfully installed openwrt on vmware all right so what is next so you may ask me how do i connect my virtual machine to this router and let's do it Right, so for example, I have an um, Linux machine. Let me just open it. Where is it? All right, so for example, I have a Ubuntu 64-bit.vmx, and um, by default, this is a network adapter, and it is not network array translation, right? So I don't want to use it, and now I want to connect to my OpenWRT routers. So let's go and add a new interface and then it will be a network adapters and then for the network device we need to select VMNet19 hit OK and then let's powering on the device And if you go back right here to open the RT, you will see some log going on that we have a new DHCP request. Let's log in first. 
and let's see if we have any changes look ray so this is open tools and ethernet connection properties let's see what is ip address right so 192.168.168.167 so this open to machine has been successfully connected to our open to the rt router and let's try we can see if we're able to access the lucy page inside this ubuntu machine right so 192.168.168.1 looks great right. so if we scroll down right here we have 167 which is this uh, ubuntu machine we have successfully set up open wrts and then we have connect our um virtual machine to this open wrt router also running on vmware so this is all about the uh, quick tutorials and i hope that you will have a good time exploring open wrts on vmware before you apply the changes to your production or your live system so if you see the video headphone, please consider like, share, and subscribe to the channel to support me. If you need any assistance or discussion, you can leave a comment on the video or you can join our Facebook group, which is Vantage Corner, or you can visit our page as well. So this is facebook.com slash Vantage Corner. This is our official page. And we will uh, be very happy to have you with us and the room. All right. So that's all. Thanks for watching. And I will be see you in the next time. Bye bye.